Hello everybody, welcome back to 539 Productions. So I have a really long walk ahead of me, it looks like at least several miles. Gonna head up and check out this cool old abandoned railroad bridge. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how big it is. It, I can't really tell from the map exactly what I'm gonna find or what design it's gonna be. But I'm pretty excited to get out today and uh, check out something different. Been doing a lot of the graveyards recently, so happy to be back on the abandoned circuit. So let's go ahead and see what this amazing old bridge looks like. Just stumbled upon this uh, hidden in the woods. It looks like a little old power line pole probably associated with the old railroad. just a ride and they've definitely converted it over to like a walking trail. I want to try and get down on the underside to see the historic section of the bridge because this up here is kind of boring but the water below looks so shallow that it's almost walkable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down there or not. This is better. I was kind of afraid for a second. This is really neat looking. I'm not sure what this would have been. It was just an old uh, brace in case something happened. Oh, that, that seems unlikely. I don't know. That's kind of crazy because it's a huge gap in between. But it looks like it was placed there for a reason. So if anybody knows, it needs to enlighten me in the comments below. Should not have worn my sandals. But what are you gonna do? You see somebody took off their flip-flop. Got a pretty good view here of this amazing old abandoned bridge. And not necessarily a bad thing that they decided to uh, redo the top to make it into a walking trail. However, it does ruin some of the historical value. I'm gonna continue on down here to the bottom and see if I can actually wade a little bit out into the water if it's shallow enough. There's a little cubby hole right here that's kind of cool. Not much to it. There seems to be lots of poison ivy and lots of mosquitoes around. Looks like a few people have come up in here to sit and hide out. No drinking bottles, just some Gatorade. This is beautiful. This bridge is so far up. I didn't realize I was going down. It's far below it. It's 
are really amazing. It looks like at some point they dug it out in this area because the water right here is very deep. However, downstream it's incredibly shallow. You can see a little area of rapids over there. So unfortunately I can't walk out in the center. But it's still an epic view. I'm loving it. The sound of the water is just incredibly beautiful. Can't beat this. And technically, I could wade across. It's probably only about three feet deep. However, it's pretty much the same exact thing on the other side. And the water is just crystal clear. A lot of these rivers around here just have brown, muddy, nasty looking water. And this is just so beautiful. If I lived around here, I definitely want to come swimming around this place. Make a great little summer party spot or picnic area. Love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. I'm going to make my way back up top here. Let's see if I can find a little bit less steep of a path up though, for sure. Like the path is less steep, it's less interesting too, so we'll just continue this way. It's like a few people have declared their love to each other in the form of spray paint. Again, regretting the decision to wear flip flops. Almost changed. Make sure that I had plenty of daylight. It's getting a little bit late. So I just opted to risk it. And it's well worth the risk. But again, they've done a wonderful job right here of turning this into a beautiful a brand new looking bridge. So it's great for people who are wanting to uh, walk and bike along this trail and it preserves a little bit of history. Again, it does ruin some of the historical value for those people walking across you can't see any of the old bridge and of course most people aren't willing to uh, go down that steep dangerous trail just to catch a glimpse either but i would like to thank you guys for watching this amazing little episode at an abandoned bridge in the midwest here uh, part of our uh, railroad history and an amazing place to visit and quite an epic looking place uh, the rust and decay on the bridge just makes it look like a piece of art here in the middle of all this green. So make sure you check out the uh, second channel, My Story, M-I-S-T-O-R-Y, for some great behind the scenes actions on adventures like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on this channel and hit subscribe so that you're notified each and every time that we have a brand new episode uploaded, which is at least three times a week and sometimes four and we upload on usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with a few exceptions here and there just due to scheduling. So thank you all again for watching and I will see you in the next adventure.